Managing the flat state of a sheet metal part has always been a conundrum in the past. So here I have a sheet metal part and you can see my last feature is one of these flat pattern features. So my model is in the flat state, which is no good to me when I'm trying to use this in an assembly. And in Creo 3.0, I believe they added an option uh, to the configuration editor. If I go to my current session, there's this enable flat state, which allows you to continue using a family table for managing your flat states. For example, if I go to my model properties dialog box, here I have flat state instances because I enabled that configuration option to yes in my current session. But those aren't good ideas and Creo Parametric 5.0 fixed that. So I'm gonna get rid of this flat pattern feature. And now that I no longer have it, in my in graphics toolbar, I have a flat pattern preview icon. And this was available in previous versions. And you get the flat pattern preview in the accessory window on the side. And if you take a look at the icons in the toolbar, there is still one that allows you to create an instance if that's the way that you want to manage this. But the better way is by using a part level simplified rep. And this has been added. So when I click this, now I can control the name of my simplified rep. And I'd like to just use something like flat. Then click the create button and it has this flat pattern feature which is suppressed and if I go to my view manager on the simplified rep tab I've got my master rep and I can toggle back and forth between these different states let's take a look at how we would use this in a drawing so I'll click create new and I'm going to make a drawing I'm not going to change the name and for my drawing let's just use my standard format and I will click OK. And here it asks me, hey, for my first view, what do I want to use, the master rep or the flat? I'm going to start off using the master. My personal belief is that your drawing should concentrate on the values for uh, the fully formed model, which is how it's going to appear in a, an assembly. So let's create our general view and no combined state let's just locate it up over here and we are just going to leave it in that orientation i can continue on creating my other additional views for my standard six view setup i'm just going to create a couple more let's take a look at maybe view over there and once i have that view i can create my different projection views and I always forget which one it is there it is so after I have my views created now if I want to document the flat state on the drawing I'll go to drawing models and this will open up the menu manager and you'll click set add rep and I'll select the flat rep of my drawing and of my sheet metal part and now when I create a general view, it's going to be of my flat state. And because of options I have on, I automatically get some dimensions on here. But personally, I don't like to have uh, standard model dimensions for a flat state I say hey leave this to your sheet metal manufacturers they know all the heuristics about the material properties their particular machines you as an engineer typically have no business telling someone who's been doing sheet metal manufacturing for years what the blank should be for the part that they are creating so a lot of times I like to take these different dimensions and turn them into reference dimensions or have some other indication that these are not dimensions that they uh, should be absolutely using because again, they're the experts in the process. So I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.